morning, we are hearing the 911 calls and dispatch audio in the minutes after Deputy DeRocher was shot Saturday night. Elise Haas joins us now with more on that and new details in this investigation. Elise? Ken and Jenny, Deputy DeRozier was reporting to a call of a disabled motorhome that was blocking a road in Kalama late Saturday night. And what seemed like a simple dispatch turned deadly. So here are the 911 calls right after he was shot. Take a listen. No, we don't know anything. He just got on the radio, said he's been shot, and now he's not answering us. He was on a parking complaint. And also check on life flight, please. Do we know if there's a suspect vehicle to be looking for? This is a parking complaint. I don't have any other information. As soon as I do, I will tell you. Very tense moments, you know, after that was all happening. And investigators, though, have now identified the man accused of shooting and killing Deputy DeRozier. They say he is Brian Butts of Longview, who was killed in a shootout a day later. So two other men were arrested in connection with the case. Matthew Beach appeared before a judge today facing a first-degree charge of rendering criminal aid. Matthew told investigators he heard gunshots from his home, and then Brian Butts appeared out of the bushes telling Telling him and his brother that he needed to get away. Beach then told investigators Butts said he had shot an officer, and Beach then said he hid Butts in an abandoned barn and later told officers he didn't know where he was. The judge set Beach's bond at $50,000 and he's due back in court at the end of the month. Now, all of this took place in Cowlitz County, but the Clark County Sheriff's Office were the ones leading the investigation on this. And of course, we're going to be following this case. Will bring you the latest developments. But for now, reporting live in Clark County, Elise Haas, Coin Six News. Thank you.